Hello everyone, this is Mike, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the SDR Uno uh, Memory Panes module. Uh, it's going to be a two-part video. This is part one of two. I'm going to download the EIBI database, which is a HF database with thousands of frequencies, and we're going to tell SDR Uno to filter out all the frequencies that are in that database and only show us what's currently being played uh, to the frequency that we're selected to in SDR Uno. So it's a uh, it's not complicated uh, it's actually pretty simple so first thing we want to do is go into your documents folder and create a folder called uno memories you can place it anywhere but i usually keep all my memory banks in the my documents folder and we have one already made it's called uno memories the second part is going online and downloading the eibi database that's a csv format so we'll do that click the first link returned and download the CSV database and that's complete now we want to move that download into the UNO memory folder so I'm gonna to go to my download folder cut it go back to my documents go back into my UNO's memory folder and paste it now we're gonna launch SDR UNO and convert it to an UNO file format and let's do that if you don't have the memory banks panel uh, shown there's two ways that you can bring it up you can go to your main module click memory panel and it will show up or you can hit the B button on your keyboard and it will also activate we want the file pane to be shown so right click uncheck hide files pane we want to select our bank folder this is global this is for all of your memory banks which is currently my documents uno memories let's import the csv file so it's right click import eibi now let's save it if we don't save it it's it's not going to remember it so we want to save the bank as uno eibi and there it is right there so let me shut this down relaunch it and let's see that everything is functioning up to this point perfect now you want to select MCTR uh, this is gonna assign <clears throat> excuse me this VRX single VRX here to work with your memory banks so we enable that we have to give ourselves some separation between the tune and the LO we will do that and we'll hit play and let's try to find uh, some active frequencies and then I'll show you what to do okay here's a couple over here so we can click on it atmosphere since the pre-industrial age now this Methane is not doing anything so let's right click filter by vrx gases such as co2 and trapping thermal heat within and now it's telling atmosphere. me all these possible stations that could be transmitting on 11.580 quite a lot let's click over here and that's what this could possibly be sound of hope uh all india radio Let's zoom in and we'll see what else is possibly transmitting. Okay, those are some possible options. Now, if you don't want it to filter by VRX, just right click and unselect it. And you can scroll down. As I said, it's thousands of frequencies. And now since we have MCTR enabled, we can click and it will tune it. But uh, the filtering by VRX is actually pretty powerful. So I like to keep that enabled. Let's see what this frequency is, uh, what it could possibly be. Hey, and that's basically it. Uh, thank you for watching and in a couple days, I'll have part two out for you guys to check out. Thanks for watching in 7-3.